Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So over the last couple of months, I've been letting you know about Google, who is in the process of removing support for third-party cookies from Google Chrome. And that's basically been replaced with a feature called Privacy Sandbox. Now, just to let you know that recently now, Microsoft has also announced that it will also start blocking third-party cookies in the Edge browser. Now, this isn't actually that new because last year in September, I posted a video that Microsoft had started testing the phase out of third-party cookies, which back then a flag had become available in Edge Canary 119, which back then was the latest preview version. And just to let you know now that the same flag is now available in the stable version of Microsoft Edge, which is currently sitting on Edge version 122. Now, before we have a look at the flag, uh, basically, as part of this announcement, uh, Microsoft has said that they are announcing the Ad Selection APR. And just to give you a bit of a background on this Ad Selection APR, basically, um, it's a browser platform feature, according to Microsoft, that enables advertisers and publishers to show relevant ads to users all without relying on third-party cookies or other cross-site tracking identifiers. And they also mentioned that the API enables relevant ads to be shown to users while keeping them in full control of their data. Now, I'm sure that statement's going to be met with a lot of so-called debate in certain circles, but nonetheless, that's according to Microsoft. So how's this all going to work? Basically, um, Microsoft Edge will start experimenting with deprecating third-party cookies, Microsoft says, in the coming months targeting less than 1% of non-managed device users. So this is really rolling out to a limited small set of users by default. And this, um, basically this, uh, this testing, the phase out of third party cookies will continue throughout this year, 2024. And Microsoft says that's to enable them to measure and evaluate the various impacts this is gonna have. So if you wanna start testing the phase out of third party cookies in the stable version, um, we can enable an experimental flag if you want to go this route. And um, if you are comfortable to fiddle with experimental flags, as always, we head up to our address bar, enter edge colon forward slash forward slash flags, hit enter. And uh, in the search, just typing test. There we go. And here it says test third party cookie phase out. The description reads. Enable to test third-party cookie phase out. Enabling this flag also enables FedCM and third-party storage partitioning. And if you want more information regarding this actual flag, I'll leave that previous video I posted on this flag when it was still in preview um, in the Canary version down below. And as always, we change that from disabled to enabled. We restart um, Microsoft Edge version 122 to apply that flag. And now you can see already at the top, we've got this little notice which says, you have enabled testing third-party cookie phase-out. This cannot be overridden by the settings page. If you want to re-enable third-party cookies, relaunch with Microsoft Edge, this feature disabled. So if you want to put everything back to how it was, just take note that um, you can click on disable or you can go back into the flags and disable that manually. So just letting you know, as mentioned, um, Microsoft now has announced that they are going to also start blocking third-party cookies, which is rolling out to a limited subset of users, 1% basically of Edge users throughout the course of this year. And if I get any more info regarding this, if you would be interested, I'll let you guys know. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.